what you're saying guys is battering. My mum disappeared and I ate strange meat. I don't know what to do. It all started three weeks ago. My mom disappeared. She was at home in the morning, nothing different. She hugged me, saying goodbye, wished me luck with school, and gave me a packed lunch. And when I got home that evening, she wasn't there. She didn't come back. So we called the police and all of the search was set up. The whole town came together and held a giant search party, lasting through the night, but there was no sign of her at all. She had just completely vanished. The weeks since were hell for both me and my dad. Rumors started spreading through town, and particularly around the school, that my mom had been murdered. Dad took things a lot worse than I did. He was a carpenter, so it wasn't unusual behavior for him to disappear into the garage for a long time to work on a chair or table or something. Especially, it was what he always did when he was stressed. I figured that's just how he was dealing with the grief. We barely spoke over the next couple weeks. He was locked in there from sunrise to midnight. And we might bump into each other at one point, but he'd just say goodnight and went to bed. Sure, it was a bit weird, but I understood that he was going through a lot. But the longer he spent in there, the less I was sure he was doing woodwork. There were large bottles of bleach popping up in our bins, and Dad barely took any break. One night, I had waited for him to go to sleep, and I crept down to try to open the door. But it was locked tight, and Dad always had the key. But today, when I came home from school, he was in the kitchen, freshly shaved, showered, had a rested face. He was totally different from what he'd been for the last couple of weeks. He was cooking. My dad used to love grilling, and his steaks were always amazingly delicious. So, it was a nice change, since I fed myself only pot noodles and soup for a few weeks. He set down two of the biggest, bloodiest steaks I had ever seen in my life. But, it looked kind of different. Not bad, but just different. Dad tucked into a steak straight away, and I did too. It was a bit tough to chew, but the seasoning and flavors tasted just as good as the rest of the steaks were. We had finished pretty soon, and I was feeling full and satisfied. Then Dad said something I can't stop thinking about. I doubt they'll ever find her body. His voice didn't sound sad or depressed. I didn't say anything just stared at him. Hearing what he said sent shivers down my spine. Then, I thought of the stakes. The late nights in the garage, hundreds of bleach bottles, and my dad's weird behavior. Did he feed me her body? Or am I just overthinking it? What do I do? That's fucked up, man. Imagine eating your mum's body, your mum's dead body. Imagine eating it without realising and just thinking it's steak. Can you imagine that? And imagine your dad killing your mum when you're still young. It's crazy. He's going through a traumatic experience and I don't know why they ended it just like that. I want to know what happened later on, whether he, the police found out about this and whether he still lives with his dad or not. They just left it hanging like that. I really want to know what happens, but that is fucked up, man. Eating your dead mom. Can you imagine that? Jesus, that's disgusting. Disgusting, man. Yeah, I feel sorry for that guy. There should be a part two for this video to actually show what, what he actually does as a result of all these observations that he noticed from his dad. Obviously, this can't be just a random coincidence, can it? Like bleach bottles to cover up the blood. Um, He's been staying in his room to clean up all the blood on the floor, get rid of the body. For weeks he's been there. And then all of a sudden he's nicely clean shaved and he's in a happy mood. 
yeah, obviously you'll notice that there's something up straight away. So I want to know what the boy actually does. So they, if they make a part two, at least I'll, I'll know that the boy is safe. Whoever's narrating this isn't, I'm not sure if this narrator is the actual person who was involved in this incident because this is, again, this is based on a true life event. So I don't know if the narrator is that guy, but it's crazy. It's just a really crazy experience to go through and you never know that boy could have died after that meal that could have been the last meal he had with his dad judging by the sound of the dad's tone of voice anyways hope you guys enjoyed just really got me thinking about what kind of people what kind of cannibalists exist in the world that we live in today and yeah here are some more animated horror story reactions if you haven't checked them out. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I took my camera and made a video, that is what I did. And my pot up's more YouTuber making cotton in the crib. But my pro is not a fib, the haters left to linger. They can't tell me nothing, all they get is made a finger.